Staten From the battery to the top of Manhattan Asian, Middle Eastern and Latin Black, white, New York, you make it happen Okay, we're in the Beastie Boys lobby. They're going to be arriving in just a few minutes' time. And when they do get here, well, we want to give them something a little bit different for their interview. So I'm going to be dressed as a bellboy, even though they probably won't see this, because all they're going to be getting is a bunch of plastic fruit and a head on a plate. This way? Nice chicken dinner. Oh, the interview is oh! Oh! Oh, no. Hi there, gents. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> you scared me. Wow. Can I put this back on you? Or is that uh, going to really ruin your whole life? It's actually really hot under here. Yeah. Actually, that was quite nice. It cooled me down a little tiny bit. Glad I was able to help. Let's see. Can I now, just say, something else he's gonna doing happen? pretty well. Is somebody going to pop, pop out, out from, from the curtain, the fireplace, Santa it's Claus? It's always a possibility. Yeah, see, this could be a decoy. It is. Take a seat, Mark. Nice like hat. So, could you just move it a little bit forward on my head? It's just a little bit far back. Is that all right? The suit's okay. great. Yeah, yeah. Do you do oh, every table like this? Very nice. Yeah, thing. yeah. How yeah. long have you felt this need to hide under tables? Uh, ever since I was about six. Six. Yeah. And what do you remember happened to you that year? Well, it was just the, kid, the neighborhood kids gave me a bit of a hard time uh, about what I was wearing. They called um, you fatso. No, they called me chubby cheeks. Runt boy. Hmm. It's pretty harsh. Okay, so... I do believe a little birdie told me that you're uh, actually recording at the moment. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sounds kind of like a hot desert wind meets a cool ocean breeze. That's nice. Yeah, more yeah. fire in the mountains. Mm. And actually, if you want to know the truth, it's hard for you to see from your angle, but in this briefcase are yeah. actually the secrets to our upcoming... Can you spill album. any of those secrets at all? I don't have Can a combination, so I don't really know. Right, okay. right. They're sealed. It's an anti-gravity mm -hmm. device. That's going to make you a lot of money if the album doesn't well, sell. We've well, actually found a way to uh, fold time and space, so... So money is not really an issue. Has Stephen Hawking said about this? He might be interested as well. Stephen's up on it. Is yeah. it? Stephen can fold time and space. Yeah, it's good to fold it as opposed to like really scrambling it. Yeah. It's best to fold it when it's hot. Do you do all your interviews from inside the table or just for us? Mike had asked him that and he said yeah. Yeah. All of them? Well, actually, I live, I live with you guys. What? Yeah. So you lied to Mike? Yeah, I did. You lied to me? I did. What kind of relationship I just, we have I've here? just broken it. Oh! Sorry. Wow. Well, you then still... I guess we're going to start to lie now, then, too. Uh, That's I'm the not going to tell the truth anymore. Okay, well, let's, let's continue lying. When you actually get together, you, you phone each other up and say, look, today we're going to go in and, and do it. What's the process for actually recording a, a Beastie oh, Boys we, album these days? Yeah. We have a set commute, set schedule. Do you? Set dress code. Yeah, especially with the dress code now, we're trying to keep real business hours. We're working more with uh, charts, figures. A lot of punching the time clock. Projections. Does that stifle your creativity, or is it... No, uh, because we can work on our presentations. You know, you can really plan for how you want to do your presentation. All your PowerPoints yeah. get yeah. met. So who presents? Uh, if somebody's got an idea, you do a PowerPoint presentation to the other two? Oh, so yeah, we'll take it in turn. Yeah, turns. we're a bit of a narco syndicalist commune. That, uh, take it in turn to act as sort of a head of government. You're very well dressed for a commune like that. Thank you. No! No! You guys have been in a relationship for a long time, for over 20 years, and any relationship like that is an amazing thing to keep. Have there been moments, though, when one of you said, that's it, we're going to break up? It's all over. I try to, yeah, but contractually, I guess I'm not allowed to. That's and also so, where folding time comes into play, because yeah. then we could go back and you know fix, fix it. The, right. Yeah. Well, also, you know, we just obviously I, I don't know when this interview is going to run, but we just had Valentine's Day, mm. and that was a bit of a rough patch for yeah. us yeah. because you know there was there's three of us. It gets a little factions. Weird. It got sticky, and right there, poof, you know, it almost. Yeah. Mike made a Valentine for Adam, and I was mad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, let's say three's a crowd, isn't it? Chocolate hearts were getting thrown about. It was messy. Yeah. yeah. So how do, you, um, how do you overcome those things? Do you, do you have group hugs? Is there, um, is there no, basketball time? No, Mike made, made me a valentine. Yeah. And that was all fixed? Yeah. 
Well, gentlemen, it's been a tremendous pleasure. Well, all right. Thank you very much for coming down tonight. I hope yeah. you enjoyed yourselves. Now, how do you uh, get out of here soon. in the box? Like, how did, um, did you get carried out? Yeah, they're going to wheel me out. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. No, pleasure. All right. Thank Thanks. you very much. Good luck in the box. Yeah, well, good luck okay. in your box. Yeah. Too, whatever that may be.